Alright, so we're gonna travel again here and Walking Dead Survival Instinct. Thank you for joining me guys and girls for some more. This uh, game is pretty good. It's not the greatest game yet, but uh, like I said, I'm enjoying it so far. Hopefully the commentary is a good level here. Again, it's kind of new for me to be able to record commentary live um, at the same time we're playing a 360 game on the 360. Um, so apparently we need fuel. We just found Merrill. Uh, is that all we have for our group? Alright, we have... I guess we'll put the rifle ammo. We don't really have a rifle right now, so we'll put the um let's take the regular pump shotgun. We have grenades. We have a couple grenades. I think we're good with what we have right there. I'll put the uh put the hammer back. We'll just take the knife. There we go. So we can carry some more stuff. We'll go with that. Sounds good to me. Alright, here we go. Find fuel, of course. There's some right off the bat. Gotcha. There we go. more right here. Uh, I want to try and stealth these two. And these ones laying down can get up at any moment. We know that. And this one's giving away our position, so that's just great. That one's down. There we go. These ones can just get up anytime they want to. Okay, we need to go. Be careful here. Also, see what else we can find. Let's travel over here in this corner. Yeah, like this one. Look at it. Oh, we got it before. If you get them before they get up. See, like, where do these zombies come from? So many times we just get hit from behind without even knowing what's there. One second they're, they're there, or they're not there, and then the next they are. Put them down. Got another one coming hot. I gotta bob and weave with these, these strikes. So one on one, not too bad, as long as they don't catch you by surprise. Oh lord, do we even want to go in there? It seems like there's so many over there. I feel like that one's gonna get up. Like, where did the blue come from? So look, we have none running at us right now. Before we know it, there'll be one behind our back. Ugh. You never to know which ones are going to get up eventually. This one spotted me too. Maybe not. Let's grab this fuel. It looks useful. Enough fuel found. Well, I want to see if I can find even more. Just need to return to the vehicle. I 
quite yet. There's more fuel over there. I'm gonna find everything I can, really. Might as well. Right, let's get over here. In case another one comes. Alright, let's... Do we have health here? Let's have some health. Oh, that's better. There we go. As you guys can tell, I really don't like using my guns unless I have to. Unless I feel like I'm like really low in health with no like med kits or anything. And I'm like totally surrounded. There's another one up over there. So if you think you got all the zombies around you, think again. Not in this game. They keep coming. What is this? Shotgun ammo, see? Let's go inside here. It's dark, but... Oh lord, there's so many in here. So many potential things could go wrong. Rifle ammo. Still don't have like a rifle, I don't think. So, it's really doing us no good. We'll see what else we can find. We will take the pistol ammo. It's like a hotel or something. Motel. Nothing. And here we've got a, ooh, a coffee maker. Mr. Coffee, maybe. Or is it one of those Black and Decker ones? A sports right. drink. There we go. Oh shoot! There's not guy here. Right, we got that one. There we go. There's more fuel over here too. Let's close that. Take this one on. There we go. We got a lot of fuel. This is great. You can't even. Oh, now there's a third all of a sudden. Oh no, we're gonna die. We died, darn it. All that for nothing. That's what eeks me the most about this game is that when you die, you have to go all the way back. So, like, we just gathered all that fuel and stuff for nothing. It's just like a waste of time, really. Ugh, because I wasn't watching my health. Like, they just, so many just come out of nowhere. Oh, I kick myself when I die like that, because there's, really, we shouldn't be doing that. Alright, we're going to do this again now. That's really annoying. Really, really annoying. Stay down. At least we know a little bit about what to expect here. Don't want to go in the diner. I mean, I could have pulled out my gun. I feel like it's just gonna attract too many. Right, there's plenty over here. What the heck? Are they coming out of the door? Are you kidding me? He's down. Right, shoot. Okay, we need to run a little bit here. Darn it. 
Look at this, guys. Go through here. Oh, we don't have the health bar here again? There was a health drink in here before. No, there isn't. Shoot! Oh, we're never gonna get out of here. What do you think about that? I hate when they just continuously grab you like that. <laughs> Plenty of fuel. I wanted to get all the other supplies we had too. We don't have time. We just gotta get out of here. Just gotta get out of here at this point. We have the fuel. Let's just let's just go. There's too many zombies here. We did lose them. We could go back and find. Do I like, want to risk my life to go get some like ammo and stuff? No, let's just go. Let's just go. We got the fuel we needed. Proceed to map. We're on our way to Clayburn. Go the regular streets. Should have enough fuel to get there now. And then some. Road blocked by abandoned vehicles, so. Move the cars? Let's just move the cars. Can we do that? Let's go. I mean, I kind of like that aspect of the game that you have to like travel. You have to have enough fuel to get there. And you might come into random blockages like this. Like, uh, that's, this is kind of neat. Is it a bit annoying? Maybe. But it's, you know, it, it's more realistic in terms of, like, the universe that you're in here. It's The Walking Dead. You know? Uh. Full ammo that we don't need. Alright, so how are we going to move these? Uh, let's move one this way, I guess. How do I push it? How do I push it? Oh, you're right, right up on it. Get the vehicles out of the way. Oh shoot! How many vehicles are there gonna be? It's probably gonna be like 50 of them. 25 car pile up here. Sports drink, uh, some health here, rifle ammo, because once we get a rifle, if we do, oh nice, pistol ammo, more health, oh, crap, they're all running out, alright, I'm actually going to get out my pistol here, there we go, there we go. see if you can aim it right, Get him in one shot. This one's dancing around. I'm gonna get him with the knife. I gotta push this one out of the way too. There's some fuel there. It's more uh, rifle ammo, I see. Okay. You're coming, Leo. I feel like this game is a little bit of a hidden gem on the 360. I mean, yeah, people hated it. <laughs> but if you actually give it a chance and just like play it for what it is like I am, it's it's actually kind of good. There's a lot of things that could be a lot way better in this game. Like the controls for one, but 
They aren't awful, but they aren't great either. Pistol ammo. Alright, can we get out of here now? Shotgun ammo. Right, is that the end of the... Which other one? I gotta get back on track. Shoot, I gotta get back on track, he says. All right. So I guess we're going back. I think we did enough work here. Everyone watching this video might believe that this game is terrible, but <laughs> that's all right. All right, let's go to proceed to map. Almost there. All right, we made it. We made it. We're just about there. Hopefully, there's no more blockages. Tomorrow, man, I gotta tell you something. Something happened, bro. I got it. Full bore, flesh eating apocalypse. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but we were up at Jess's camp house when the, when the eaters came down on us. We never heard anything about them. They tore us up. Jess and me, we were the only ones to get out. Where's the old man? He was up at the camp house, too. He didn't make it, bro. He did? The old man's dead? <laughs> you let the abominations get him? Did he turn into one? Did you let that happen too? No, I... We gave him mercy. What did he say? What did he say? He said, uh... He said... Tell Merle I'm proud of him. Merle? <laughs> what did he really say? <laughs> hey, what did he really say, Daryl? Entering Clayburn. Can we have you do something? Let's equip you a weapon. You can have a devil barrel shotgun. How about that? Task. Find ammo. Can you do that for me, Mia Park? And we're gonna put back the glass bottle. I don't know why I picked that up. I think I thought it was a sports drink. Uh, rifle ammo as well. We have a lot of it. 23 rifle ammo. Look at all the fuel we have. And then we'll put back the shotgun. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna go this one with the revolver. Some grenades, a hunting knife, and my ammo, my uh, my health stuff. Hopefully, we can find some more stuff while we're here. I need some methicillin, some penicillin. Better yet, make a mice. Stay put. You just slow me down right now. <laughs> this the is essentially like the next level, I guess. But I was thinking of kicking my feet up. Hopefully, you guys can't really hear my fan on. <laughs> I moved it away a bit from me, so it shouldn't be affecting the commentary too much. But I do apologize if you can hear that coming in. Alright, so far so good. Guess we gotta go, so let's see what's in here. Are you gonna come to life? No? Nothing in here. Did you say, man, my arms hurt? There's nothing in here. Oh, Lord. Like, what? It's a dead end. Go this way. Oh, look at this. It's a hospital. Kind of reminds you of the very first episode of The Walking Dead. Rick lying in the hospital bed, getting up. Who's this guy? Talk, 
Dr. Yeah. Noah Cruz. Me too. She brought you to the hospital after all, huh, Donna boy? Oh, is that the same Noah that was in the show? I mean, it doesn't look like him, but I wonder if that's the same character. That'd be kind of funny. So look out, man. Hey, I need some antibiotics. You got some? Gauze and tongue depressors. Sorry. I'm gonna keep moving. Cool, man. Be safe, all right? All right, so Noah's all right. 